Oh man, what a beautiful day for a ride. What? What are you monkeys doing to my bike? This time you've gone too far. Don't you shoot me with that. Not again, Mickey. 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 first amateur race is right around the corner. In one week, I will make the five hour drive to Northern Arizona, where round one of the amateur season begins. At Cinder's OHV near Flagstaff, I will be riding in unfamiliar terrain. I've never been there, but from what I've read about it, Cinder's is a nap name for this place. It is covered in volcanic cinders, a dark sand-like material. I'm still uncomfortable in loose, deep sand, and that is the kind of terrain I'm expecting at this race. To make matters more difficult, Cinders has some extreme hill climbs. It will be a true test of how much I have progressed in my riding skills. In preparation for the race season, I've shed a lot of weight and worked on increasing my endurance. However, the greatest preparation has been riding as much as possible. I've been exploring my local area looking for longer and more difficult trails to ride. It is obvious to me that my skills have increased. I am more apt to attempt a tough looking hill climb focused on clutch control and maintaining momentum and traction instead of focusing on the fear of crashing. My confidence is much higher now, and therefore I am crashing less often. I am often able to easily conquer trails that I would never have attempted just three months ago. The secret to this increase in skill is simply seat time. Just like anything else, if you spend enough time doing it, you get better at it. This approach seems to have paid off, but the real test will be this weekend. There's a downside to riding this much. I'm racking up hours and mileage on the bike. The more I ride, the more often the bike requires servicing. With the races only a few weeks away, I had to break away from riding to get some much needed maintenance done. I am on a severely limited budget when it comes to my dirt bike obsession. I can't afford to take the bike to the shop for servicing. I don't have any dirt bike savvy mechanic buddies near me either. So it's up to me and my crew of sock monkeys to do the work. I am a complete beginner when it comes to working on anything mechanical. However, I can read, and I can follow instructions. It also helps to have Google at your fingertips. So I stripped the bike down and got to work. Armed with an iPad, a decent set of tools, and a lot of determination, I got the bike ready for the race. I changed my fork seals for the first time, flushed and straightened out my bent radiators, added a radiator brace, cleaned the throttle body and fuel injector, checked the valve clearances, greased all of the bearings, changed the oil, cleaned the air filter, tightened the chain, reattached and modded my rear fender, checked just about every nut and bolt for proper torque and fixed the slow leak in my front tire. I filmed as much of this as I could and I'll be editing it all to make DIY videos for my maintenance playlist. Now the bike and I are about as ready as we're going to get. All that's left to do is to ride a little this week to stay warm and pack for the trip. I'll be trying to enter every race this season and I intend to document as much of the experience as I can for this YouTube channel. As I said, money is tight and racing is expensive. Just about every race is a five hour drive to the venue. Right now I'm looking for some low level sponsorship or even donations to at least offset some of the cost of gas, entry fees and food for these races. We'll see if that works out. If it does, I can compete in all nine rounds of the AMRA series. If you want to help, make sure you like and share these videos. Leave a comment and subscribe. I could use all the support I could get. Well, wish me luck, and thanks for watching. What?